The North American B-45 tornado was the United States Air Force's first operational jet bomber, and the first multi-jet engine bomber in the world to be refueled in mid-air. The B-45 was an important part of the United States' nuclear deterrent for several years in the early 1950s, but was soon superseded by the Boeing B-47 straighter jet. B-45s and RB-45 served in the United States Air Force's Strategic Air Command from 1950 until 1959. It was also the first jet bomber of the NATO alliance, which was formed in 1949. Development The B-45 began development in 1944, when the U.S. War Department, alarmed by German jet bombers like the Arado R-234, called for a new family of jet bombers grossing between £80,000 and £200,000. The proposal from North American Aviation won, and on September 8, 1944, the company began production of three prototypes based on the NA-130. The end of World War II resulted in the cancellation of many projects and delayed many others. In 1946, Rising tensions with the Soviet Union caused the U.S. Air Force to assign higher priorities to jet bomber development and production. By mid-1946, the XB-45 and Convair XB-46 neared completion, but the Boeing XB-47 and Martin XB-48 were still two years away. The USAAF chose to evaluate the first two designs to determine which would be superior operationally. The B-45 proved a superior design and on January 2, 1947, a contract for immediate production of B-45s was signed. It had been planned to equip five light bomb groups and three light reconnaissance groups with B-45As, but as the B-47's development and flight testing made future production all but certain, the future of the B-45 became increasingly uncertain, and in mid-1948 the U.S. Air Staff began to question its value. Soon afterwards, President Truman's budget restraints reduced Air Force expenditure and B-45 production was reduced to a total of 142 airframes. Further budget cuts in 1950 forced the Aircraft and Weapons Board to cancel 51 of the 190 aircraft on order. The B-45 was later replaced by the supersonic Convair B-58 Hustler. Operational History equals Korean War equals Continuously plagued by engine problems along with numerous other minor flaws, the B-45 regained importance when after the United States entered the Korean War in 1950, it proved its value both as a bomber and as a reconnaissance aircraft. The mass dedication of U.S. forces to the Korean War revealed the vulnerability of North Atlantic Treaty Organization forces in Europe to Soviet attack, and it was in this light that the Air Force made an important decision about the future of the B-45. The B-45, like most post-World War II U.S. bombers, could carry both nuclear and conventional bombs. The progress of weapons technology had led to a great reduction in the weight and size of nuclear weapons in the U.S. inventory, effectively allowing smaller aircraft such as the B-45 to carry out nuclear strikes, a mission which had initially been limited to heavy bombers. Suddenly, the small fleet of B-45s had great value again as a nuclear deterrent. Operation Fandango, sometimes called Operation Backbreaker, entailed modifications to the aircraft for nuclear missions. In addition, the 40 B-45s allocated to the program were equipped with a new defensive system and extra fuel tanks. Despite the magnitude of the modifications project, plus ongoing problems with the early jet engines, atomic-capable B-45s began reaching the United Kingdom in May 1952 and deployment of the 40 aircraft was completed in mid-June. It was at about the same time that RB-45s of the 323rd Strategic Reconnaissance Squadron began to arrive in Japan to fly alongside the 91st Strategic Reconnaissance Squadron, supplementing the WWYI-era piston engine of B-29s which had proved to be easy targets for North Korean MiGs. The RB-45s provided valuable intelligence throughout the remainder of the Korean War despite the limited number of airframes which were available. RB-45 CS flew many daylight missions until early 1952, when they were converted to night operations after an RB-45 was almost lost to a MiG-15. <laughs> <laughs> Post-war equals
all 33 RB 45 CS built were assigned to the 91st Strategic Reconnaissance Wings 322nd, 323rd, and 324th Strategic Reconnaissance Squadrons. The RB 45C also flew several long range reconnaissance missions over the Soviet Union during the mid 1950s. On July 29, 1952, an AB 45C made the first non stop Trans Pacific flight, having been refueled twice by KB 29s along the way. Major Lou Carrington and his crew of the 91st Reconnaissance Wing flew from Alaska to Japan in 9 hours 50 minutes, winning the Mackay Trophy for their achievement. Within the 91st SRW, by 1954 the RB 45C had been replaced by the RB 47E. The phased-out RB-45 CS went to the 19th Tactical Reconnaissance Squadron, which operated them until they were withdrawn from operational use in the spring of 1958. By the end of the 1950s, all B-45s had been removed from active duty service. However, a few continued to act as test aircraft into the early 1970s. Equals Operation Jiu-Jitsu equals the only other nation to use the RB-45C was the United Kingdom, where it was operated by an ad hoc unit of crews largely drawn from NOS 35 and 115 squadrons. Whilst the USAF was prohibited by the President of the United States from overflying the Soviet Union unless under a state of war, US allies closer to the European theater of war could. In the United Kingdom, whilst successive Labour governments had refused, the return of Winston Churchill and a conservative administration to Downing Street had brought a change of options. As a result under Operation Jiu-Jitsu, in July 1951 four aircraft were bailed to Britain from the 91st Strategic Reconnaissance Wing to form a Royal Air Force Special Duties flight commanded by Squadron Leader John Crampton. Stripped of all USAF markings and then applied with RAF markings, the four aircraft were attached to a USAF squadron based in RAF Sculthorpe, Norfolk in eastern England. The aircraft were tasked with flying deep-level reconnaissance missions over the Soviet Union to gather electronic and photographic intelligence. The special duties flight conducted missions during the period 1952 Euro 54. On April 17, 1952, three aircraft were tasked to head for Kiev from Germany, Scheduled to return to Skullthorpe ten hours later. Flying at 36,000 feet, Crampton's aircraft was tracked by ground radar and came under anti-aircraft fire. Applying full power, he immediately turned and headed for Germany, none too soon, as Soviet night fighters had been dispatched to hunt down his aircraft. Subsequent flights over the Soviet Union were carried out using English electric camberas under the codename Project Robin operating at higher altitudes of around 54,000 feet. It was not until 1994 that the existence of the spy missions became public knowledge. Variants equals XB-45 equals, the first flight of the XB-45 was on March 17, 1947 from Muroc Army Airfield. A total of 131 test flights were flown by the three prototype aircraft, one being destroyed early on, killing two pilots. The USAF accepted one of the two surviving aircraft on July 30, 1948, the other on August 31. One was damaged beyond repair in an accident. The last XB-45 was delivered to Wright-Patterson Air Force Base in 1949. It proved excessively difficult to maintain and was relegated as a ground trainer. Three aircraft equals B-45 Ares equals the B-45A differed from the XB-45 in having improved ejection seats and communications equipment, an E-4 automatic pilot and bombing navigation radar. The first production B-45 flew in February 1948, and the Air Force took delivery of 22 B-45s in April 1948. Powered by J-35 turbojets and not considered combat ready, they were assigned to training duties and to conduct various test programs. The next batch were powered by the more powerful J-47 turbojets. The first B-45s entered service in November 1948 with the 47th Bombardment Group, and the initial order of 96 was completed in March 1950. The first B-45s were not equipped with bomb fire control systems or bomb sites. 
they suffered from gyrocompass failures at high speeds, unhooked bomb shackles, engine fires, and inaccurate cockpit gauges. The ANAPQ-24 bombing and navigation radar on some B-45s was maintenance heavy, and malfunctions in the pressurization pump limited the altitude at which the aircraft could operate. Fifty-five nuclear-capable B-45s arrived in the United Kingdom in 1952. These were modified with a 1,200 gallons fuel tank in the aft bomb bay. Despite technical problems, these were Tactical Air Command's first-line deterrent in Europe. 96 aircraft, B-45A-147-001A-47-022, B-45A-547-023A-047-096, B-45A-47-097. Equals B-45 bytes equals, the B-45B was a proposed variant of the B-45A with improved radar and fire control systems. None were built. Equals B-45 carats equals. The B-45C was the first multi-jet engine bomber in the world to be refueled in mid-air. It carried two 1,200 gallons wingtip fuel tanks, had a strengthened canopy, and an in-flight refueling receptacle. The first B-45C was flown on May 3, 1949. Only 10 were built, and the remaining 33 under construction were converted to a B-45CS. 10 aircraft equals a B-45 carats equals, the RB-45C was the final production variant of the B-45. The bombardier's canopy was fared over and replaced with an oblique camera system. The RB-45C carried two 214 gallons external fuel tanks, or two JATO rockets. It could carry up to 12 cameras in four positions, or a single camera with a 100 inches focal length lens. The RB-45C first flew in April 1950, and was delivered from June 1950 to October 1951. 38 were built, including the 33 converted from B-45CS. It was this variant that was operated over the Soviet Union by the RAF Special Duties Unit at RAF Skullthorpe, with the first sortie of three aircraft commanded by squadron leader John Crampton taking place on the night of April 17, 1952. 33 aircraft. Operators, United Kingdom, Royal Air Force, No. 35 Squadron RAF crews grouped into ad hoc units operated a B-45C variant. No. 115 Squadron RAF crews grouped into ad hoc units operated a B-45C variant. USA. Aircraft on display. Three B-45s have survived to the present day. B-45A, AF Sair. No. 4728, Castle Air Museum at the former Castle AFB in Atwater, California. B-45C, AF Sair. No. 48-10, in the Cold War hangar of the National Museum of the United States Air Force at Wright-Patterson AFB near Dayton, Ohio, the aircraft was used by Pratt & Whitney for engine testing, and was flown to the museum in 1971. A B-45C, AF Sair. No. 48-17, Strategic Air and Space Museum in Ashland, Nebraska. Specifications Data from, General Characteristics, Crew, 4, Length, 75 feet 4 inches, Wingspan, 89 feet 0 in, Height, 25 feet 2 in, Wing Area, 1125 FTA squared, Empty Weight, 45,694 pounds, Loaded weight, 81,418 pounds, max takeoff weight, 110,000 pounds, power plant, 4A, General Electric J47 GE 13 turbojets, 5,200 pound forces each, performance, maximum speed, 570 miles per hour, range, 1,000 miles, service ceiling, 46,400 feet, rate of climb. 5,950 feet per minute, wing loading, 72.37 pounds FTA squared, thrust weight, 0.26, armament, guns, 2A, 0 0.50 and M3 machine guns, bombs, 22,000 pounds, popular culture, the War of the Worlds and the magnetic monster show stock footage of the B-45, 
A B-45 can be seen in Strategic Air Command, A B-45 also featured prominently in the Buck Danny album Planes Without Pilots by Jean-Michel Charlier and Victor Huberman. See also Aircraft of comparable role, configuration and era, Arador 234, Boeing B-47 Straighter Jet, Convair X B-46, English Electric Canberra, Hinkle He 343, Ilyushin Eel 22, Junkers Ju 287, Martin X B-48, Short Sparrow, Related Lists, List of Bomber Aircraft, List of Military Aircraft of the United States. References Bibliography, Fredrickson, John C. The B-45 Tornado, An Operational History of the First American Jet Bomber. Jefferson, North Carolina, McFarland. ISBN 978-0-7864-4278-2. External links, B-45 Tornado page on globalsecurity.org, B-45 Index on Joe Boer's page. B-45 Serial Numbers Disposition 47-0 on Joe Boer's page, 47th Bomb Wing, Aero Web, List B-45s on display, Boeing website.